Welcome back, welcome back. Another day of steady streaming. Subscribe, comment, drop a like. And today, we are gonna do first do like 40 min 30 minutes or so of mind research. And then we'll do, um, for, we'll continue the study from last time on the CS1A3P iOS development. What's up, Simon? Hello there. In the stream. A shout out to Rockstar, who we read yesterday and follow me, and then help us promote a little bit, and four others who join us today. Let's go. I mean, I'm secretly planning like a binary search streamer special. <laughs> I was thinking, like, is there like some brain teaser games we can all play? Or some strategy games, you know. So kind of related coding, but more entertainment. Okay. Unique string. Even lower case alphabet string determine whether it has all unique characters. Uh, make a dictionary. <laughs> dict. It's dict. I'll do a set. Care set. Something happened. Oh, the choo choo train is coming. Much appreciated, Simon. Yeah, after you guys are so comfortable with the, the Simon's hard questions, this room would be a piece of cake. Retray! Hello, Dicky Gabafoon. For carefulness, if. Care in care set <laughs> return false else uh care set dot add care turn to Oh, nice. Perfection. <laughs> I need to give back to communities. I need, I'm gonna start guiding my, um, my YouTube here, but I think a lot, there's a lot of uh, intersections between the two set of people. Ooh, 99.98%. Damn. <laughs> Next one. Check Polygium, are you kidding me? Really? Really now? It could be a little bit faster if you just check half of it. <laughs> Largest gap. Given a list of integers, use the largest difference between two consecutive integers in the sorted version of nums. Uh, da -da -da -da. I feel I'm leaving this room like real soon because I'm finished. <laughs> Give it a list of turn the largest difference of two consecutive integers in the story version of ums. Um, we'll sort it first. Uh, 
is what the numb. If it's negative, uh, negative. Close negative infinity. And what if it's negative? Um, what's one entry? What should it turn? Length of nums and it's less than or equal to one. Return, oh no, I'm active. To and because we make sure the n is larger than two, so larger than one, so we make sure we have at least two elements so we can access the index one. Um, by range one and curve equals uh, nums of i minus nums of uh, i minus 1 max div equals max of max div and current div like update the maximum at the end, return the maximum. No. What's wrong? Oh, you start the numbs, not numbs. Uh, here. It's easy, it's not really easy. But why is it this? Why is it so slow? Finish the context. Dun, dun, dun. Intervals intersecting a point. Given two dimensional list of integers, intervals, and integer point, each element contains start and representing inclusive interval, return a number of intervals that are intersecting at point. whether it's in each of the interval <laughs> interval in intervals uh, counter <laughs> if 
point is smaller is greater than or equal to the first entry interval zero and point is less than or equal to um, second part counter increments by one turn counter Yikes. What? What's the point? I think here. Go. Yay. <laughs> I haven't finished a context for so long. How much time do we spend? Ten minutes? Shit. <laughs> Let's go into it for Amazon. Fast. Let's look at the better solutions. Uh, I don't like my speed here. Let's see how we can make that faster. So you sort it once, so that's an N log N. Something that when you add it in, you calculate the difference. The one before. If I change the even else statement here, it could be a little bit faster, but I don't think that's worth it. It's not much. Yeah, there's really not much you can do. <laughs> See if it's faster. If current if max diff max diff current diff. A little bit fast. <laughs> it's so much faster. Defense is huge. It's 
like 256 seconds compared to 330. 350. 350. By the way, that's the total compensation for L5 in Fang. 350. Given a two dimensional list. Faster than half of the people who could make you faster. Directly use the Boolean's number. The dangerous and see. This is okay. And do this instead of accessing it. Still kept accessing it though. They do, I forgot. IJ in intervals. <laughs> really, this would be faster. Really. So like when you parse it, you already um, assigned to the iterators. Is this one even faster? It's not. This one is the fastest. Okay. Ooh. That's all we're gonna do with the final research. We're gonna move on to CS193P. the second lecture last time. Cool, that'll be the first recording.